news out of Coventry. We've been tracking this morning. An early morning fire has destroyed a local home. This is cell phone video sent in to us by a viewer. Some pretty intense flames here for the very latest. Let's send things out to Kate Wall. She has been on the scene now for uh, about an hour or so. What's the latest, Kate? In the last half hour or so, we've seen firefighters start to uh, wrap up their uh, investigation outside here. But I want to give you a look at the house behind us. It is completely destroyed. And right now, the state fire marshal's office has actually gone into the home to investigate. Right now, the key part that they're looking into is the report that there's one person unaccounted for. According to neighbors and people who know this area, there's one person who reportedly lives here, and that person is believed to have been home at the time and is unaccounted for. Now, the flames were too fierce when fire crews got here just before 4 o'clock this morning for them to go into the home right away. The calls came in, and they arrived within three minutes of the calls, but the fire chief, Frank Brown, said because of the it being the middle of the night, it might have been difficult to detect right away. So by the time they got here, the flames were fully engulfing the home, and it's really just destroyed. We can see down to the studs inside just by being on this street. This is Reed Ave at the corner of Ernest Street. It's actually right next to the Torino Social Club. If you're familiar with this area, Coventry fire crews got help from West Warwick Fire when the second alarm came in, and we spoke with the fire chief just about a half hour ago. I mean, at quarter of four in the morning, most people are sleeping. The road is not that well traveled, you know, at that time in the morning. So it probably had a pretty good head start by uh, the conditions we had when we arrived on scene. And Coventry Fire Chief Frank Brown said that they've searched the second floor of this home and haven't found anyone there. They're now investigating on the first floor. We also saw police officers walking in as well as the chief right now into the first floor now that the smoke is still billowing from the top of the home, but the flames are out. So we'll continue to update you throughout the morning on this investigation into what caused the fire as well as if they happen to find anyone inside. Live in Coventry, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.